All right, the next thing we're going to do is get the key and token um, for the plugin. So you'll click Settings here, and you'll notice it's asking for an organizer key and an access token. So we're going to open up a new tab, and we're going to go to app, app.gotowp.com. And this is a very important step. Uh, just make sure you're clicking the correct button, GTW for go to webinar, or GT. G2T for go to training. So we're going to do the W for the webinar. Go to webinar. I'm going to click that. And it's asking uh, for your permission to access the data for your go to webinar or your Citrix account. So you're going to click allow. This is assuming you're already logged in to go to webinar. If you weren't logged in to go to webinar, it would prompt you to log in. And then it's going to give you this information here. Um, a common thing that people get confused on is they see token here and token here, and they get confused. And they see key and key, and they get confused. Um, it's very simple. Uh, to go back here, it's looking for the organizer key. So come and find the organizer key. And what you do is you simply copy all the information in between the double quotation marks. So you're going to copy that, come back into here, and do organizer key paste it. Then it's looking for the access token. So it'll come over here. Oh, this is the refresh token, so we're not going to get that one. We're going to get the access token here, and the same thing, you highlight the information in between the double quotation marks, copy it, come back here and paste it. And then the last step is just to verify your platform. Most platforms now have been migrated to global, but just to double check, come back and check this platform and whatever it says here, um, most of them will say global now, if not all of them. Um, and it defaults to global. So if for some odd reason, you see legacy here, then you would simply uh, select legacy. But that's, I think most of those have been migrated out by Citrix. So once you've done those two things, uh, you can save your details. And when you do that, it'll pull in automatically the webinars that are listed in your account. So that is how you get your key and token and that's and w when you see these pop up, uh, that's the first step to know that you have uh, connected correctly.